Welcome to Destinations. I wasn't planning on filming, but then we just come to this bog hole and I'm gonna give it a go. Just out here with Kenny. Say hello, Kenny. Hi. Uh, we're just out at Julemar. We just picked around, had a couple of whoops and gone on some tracks and came to the first bog hole. And it's a stinky one. Well, it just looks awful. So I'm just gonna give it a go. I, I've got this gut feeling it's gonna be fucking wrong, but uh, yeah, set this up and see how we go. What's an anti-climax? What's an anti-climax? Looks like we've got another bog hole. Windows up, because it was super stinky last time. Oh, this looks deep. I don't know if I'd get through that one. It looks awful. I'll be able to gauge how bad it is after watching you go through. This is going to be gross. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> oh, it's like rotten, rotten mud with charcoal smell through it. So gross. It's only because I cleaned it out. So I came unstuck. Well, came stuck. Eating my words a bit, I said that these would be good in the mud. <laughs> I'm gonna try to reach that without fucking standing on that shit. Oh, big ants around too. Oh, because there's a big ant hole right there. I don't think this is going to work. I think I'm going to have to stand in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, damn it. I'm going to...
Oh, all right, love. <laughs> a little bit deeper than I thought. Accidentally broke through the crust. And now we've both got mud pies on our tires. Thank you, Kenny. That's all right. I was going to prepare for next time. I'll put it in my back of <laughs> this is like when I first met Dougie, and he's like, oh, you don't have a rear recovery point. It's like, nah. He's like, oh, we'll have to get you out from the front. It's like, wait a sec, we don't even know what fucking tracks we're doing. What's this talk about recovering me already? Well... <laughs> <laughs> All right, it, there's a bit of a bump on the, um, the right-hand exit as well, it looks like. You were throwing up so many chunks then. <laughs> well, he gave it to it. Gave it the berries. And I'm going to do it too. Yeah, I'm going to spin around. I'm going to do that as well. It wasn't too bad. It's just a little bit slippery at the end. got me that half a foot and it was driving itself spewing all right well that's two recoveries from uh from kenny i've got stuck twice in in bog holes that one i thought i was going to make it easy and uh i didn't so but at least we're, we're finding some bog holes this is like middle of summer well, it's start it's starting to come to the uh, the back end of summer um, you wouldn't think there'd be any water out here whatsoever, but there's still mud in the in the deeper holes. Um, that one, so close to getting out. Like, I was getting a little bit of movement. Oh, Kenny won't fit through there. I was getting a little bit of movement forwards and backwards, but we weren't going to wait around all day when we, we can explore more. Um... But yeah, th these holes I'm I'm going through and getting stuck in, I'd never tackle alone. Um, I do have a hand winch and stuff, but honestly, just getting covered in crap, sweating your balls off, um, and and risking something worse happening in some of these. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't tackle any of these things solo. Um, I, I like to think I'm pretty good at knowing my limits uh, and and judging. A situation whether it's going to be dangerous or not. Jeez. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> um. Look at that place. Well, I think I got myself in a little spot of bother. Not as bad as last time, but uh, let's see. I will put this here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go real slow here. It's just a bit deep and I'm, I'm quite off camber. Yeah, I'm just crawling along. Oh, that root. That root got me. Time to bounce. Yeah, I'm not bouncing under that. Oh, that's dead square too. There we go. How good is that tr that creek crossing just there, man? I have a gut feeling I've done that before. It just looks really familiar. I'm kind of going to give it a go. Have a look at it. I'm kind of going to give it a go. It's pretty steep there, man. Do you want to walk it first? He's just going to do it. You, you get to the point where you have no traction here and there's, there's a tree right there that you could hit. Even walking down is going to be bullshit hard. My only problem, issue with this, because you're going to lose traction once your wheel starts crest over here, you're going to lose traction. My only real issue is that fucking tree. Like, I mean, if you keep in the ruts, Keep your, your right hand wheel in this right rut, you'll miss that tree completely. But yeah, well, how's the angle though? <laughs> it starts going, you just let go of the brakes. Yeah, exactly, and just try to drive it round, roll it down. Yeah, get to the bottom. That doesn't look, I'm going to have to walk down there, but that doesn't look too steep at the bottom to get up the other side. I know I'm going to go on my ass. This is crazy steep. Um, That's why I'm going to sit here and watch. And laugh? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, I've got to do it though. Or can I walk around? Oh, I can walk around there. Less chance of doing a tailbone. <coughs> I think, I hope. Okay, snake watch. Oh, jeez, it's, it's steep here too. <laughs> oh. Um. How am I going to climb back up this? 
Uh. <laughs> run, 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 you cannot tell what this is like until you're down here. This looked a lot smoother, but it's not. Here you can get up, no problems, you could roll that. Here, it's so off camber, you'd wanna, you'd wanna sort of come up and, it's doable, you just don't wanna slide to the, the left. Fuck it, I'm gonna give it a go. I, I don't think I'm, I don't think it's a real risky thing here. Um, where's a good position to prop this? <laughs> what? And just looking down a bit, you reckon? This is easier. It doesn't have all the gravel on it. There's actually a shitload of grip here. Um. <laughs> Okay, I haven't done this one. I thought I had, it looks familiar. Uh, we're still recording, yeah, we are. Um. <laughs> That's not gonna get it. That'll get it, as long as I don't drive over the bloody thing. It's not gonna get the angle I'm going on, but. Oh shit, okay. Time to run. Give you an idea of of the angle going down it's reasonably steep this gully is probably four or five yeah four or five meters deep okay i don't know how long i can stay here for yeah What do you want to do? Do you want to stay in the rut or do you want to um, do what I did? Yeah, both. I think you're going to be better going left and, and putting your right wheel in the rut because you've got the clearance and you've got the weight to hold you in place. Just when I say if you're not sliding, stop for a second so I can get the angle. So keep coming now. Your right wheel's about to drop into that little bump. Yeah, you're looking good there. Just keep easing that. Oh, your right, uh, your left wheel's coming up a bit, but you're looking good. Just straighten up your wheels a bit, man. No, no, right, right hand down. That's it. Keep following that. Now a bit of left hand. Yeah, looking good. 
Looking really good. There we go. Oh, bit of slide. Beautiful. Okay, okay. I've got to get down without stacking it. Oh, he's going for it. Beautiful. Don't stack it, don't stack it, don't stack it, don't stack it. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so we finished up at Julema and uh, we're going to pop into the Duckstein, have something to eat and a couple of beers. Uh, thank you, Kenny, no for worries. pulling me out of the shit. Thanks for having me. Twice. Uh, it's just a great day. Great day. Got the cars covered in crap, stinky crap. Kenny's is still like stinking. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot of cleaning to do, but now it's time to relax. We got out, what time is it? About 1 30? Yeah, 1 30. Got there at 10, got out, back here at 1.30. Good time, it was starting to get hot out there, so uh, we, we're having a win today. So thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Take care.